because I love Marty McCary at FDA. That's awesome. Of course, I love RFKJ, who will be overseeing, if he gets confirmed, all of HHS, which is great. Um, and then you've got the Surgeon General, about whom I have more questions still, Dr. Janet uh, Neshawat for Surgeon General, Medical Director at City MD, a network of urgent care centers in New York and New Jersey, a Fox News contributor. She's the sister-in-law of Representative Michael Walls, who is Trump's pick for NSA. And I'll bet you dollars to donuts, this guy said, take her, take her, because being the person who runs City MD is and went to med school in the Caribbean, I know, I know, elitist, whatever, but let's face it, that is not where our best doctors come from generally. It's just not, sorry. Those schools are a lot easier to get into and, and have generally different standards. Um, not that she's going to be operating on people. She's the chief spokesperson, so her time on Fox News may have convinced Trump she can do it. She's very pro-Trump. Um, but I don't really care about that stuff so much as I care about the fact that she loves masking. She loved the vaccine. She loved to mask the children long into the pandemic, past the get point where boosted. the rest of us were saying, stop that, right? Get your kid boosted and get your kid vaxxed. Oh, yay, your under 12 kid can get vaxxed. August of 2021, saying, wear a mask, wear a mask. Delta's different. June of 2021, um, downplaying the risk of myocarditis in kids who get the vax. October of 2021, talking about kids getting the COVID jab and how the risks are extremely low. Um, January of 22, still promoting all the boosters and the vaccines and masks and how beneficial they are. The point is, Stu, she didn't see through any of it. Unlike people, like even McCary was pro some of this stuff in the beginning, but got there at the same time she was writing op-eds, um, you know, calling for more masking. He was writing them saying, saying, no, that was bullshit. Take the mask off right now. Yeah, and, and and you know, of course, as we all remember, when when the the words "15 days to slow the spread" were uttered, uh, Donald Trump and Anthony Fauci were on the same stage uttering them, right? Like, so a lot of people early on in the pandemic said all sorts of things, and I think there's some grace that is appropriate for for a lot of them to be in 2021 and in 2022 saying those things you think would be basically just disqualifying for an incoming Trump administration. You know, Trump obviously was, uh, you know, had some very early uh, instincts to uh, try to shut some things down and see what we could do to slow uh, what was going on. He was off of that bandwagon pretty darn quickly. Um, I mean, I think there's a distinction for Trump in particular when it comes to just the vaccines and that I, I think Trump is in at odds with a lot of the people in his uh, in his base as to you know the success level of, of what occurred there. He doesn't talk about it all that much, but he's I think he's pretty proud of his record on that. Um, and, you know, the fact that he is, uh, you know, appointing people like RFK Jr., who are very much on the opposite side of that shows that he's willing to to take other viewpoints. This one, though, doesn't seem, you know, you can kind of understand RFK. RFK did something very important for Donald Trump during the campaign. There's no surprise that he would be rewarded. This one, though, just does seem weird. And maybe he didn't have all the information about where she stood on a lot of these issues. I mean, I, I, I'm I, not in favor of this person at all, based on what I've seen. I, I'm sorry. Um, August of 21, she's interviewing with Pete Hegseth on Fox, saying Delta's different. If you want to protect yourself, wear a mask. Here's Marty McCary, the same month, August 2021, op-ed in the Wall Street Journal making the case against masks for children. Very different. Like either you see the evidence and you can be a leader on it or you don't and you can't. And people who got COVID that wrong should not be in charge of the next gen of our health officials or spokespeople. Um, I'm, I'm against it. Sorry, but I am. For those of us holding our breath for the past several months, we can finally exhale. Doesn't it feel like that? Work can finally be done on the major issues this country is facing, and it will be. One of the most significant, our national debt. The fact is our nation is broke, and that debt is a house of cards that can't be quickly dismantled. So the strategy remains the same. You might want to diversify your savings. This is why I want to tell you about Birch Gold. So many things are out of our control and out of our president's control, so it can be really important to have a safe haven for your savings. Birch Gold Group can help you convert an IRA or 401k into an IRA in physical gold. And the best news is it doesn't cost you one cent out of pocket. Text MK 
to 989898 now to get your free info kit. Plus, right now through Black Friday, you're going to receive a free one ounce Silver Eagle for every $5,000 purchased. Protect your savings with Birch Gold. Text MK to 989898 and claim your eligibility for free silver today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.